pumpkin. You're so lucky. It's yeah. pumpkin season. Where's your pumpkin? Maybe it's okay. The marketing department decided for the first time, let's participate in the scarecrows in the gardens at Billingrath. You want more straw? How's that? So we have invited everyone from the local community to come and participate. All right, here we go. Whitney came to me and uh, asked me if I had any skills as an artist, and I do. I'm the graphic artist at WKRG, but I also am an illustrator. This is an acrylic portrait that was painted in about six hours. John Nodor has a distinctive look, and what better way to showcase that than on a pumpkin? I really wanted to make sure I captured his classic charm. Why did we choose John? The eyes were probably the most important part of the portrait. He is a face that everyone here in Mobile recognizes, and hopefully they will recognize when they walk through Bellingrath as well. It's the music. It's, it's the music. <laughs> That's the Scarborough is here with us on the red couch, and Tessa is the artist behind all that, as you saw in that in that story. Uh, good, great job, Tessa. Thank you. It was a pleasure to paint that. It, it, it looks better than me, so. I mean. All right, so I don't know how I ended up being the head of this particular. Literally scarecrow. the head of this scarecrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there it is. Uh, Tessa, by the way, uh, is not just uh, an artist who does portraits, but you do all of the art for uh, News 5. Yes, I'm the graphic artist here at News 5. I create a lot of our monitor graphics and the animated graphics you see on the news. But for this project, I got to play into my passion, which is illustration. Right. This looks like it was a lot of fun for you, though. Hey. It was, it was. Can yeah, you gonna do the honors here? This or? right here is the practice portrait that I completed before painting on the pumpkin. Okay. And there it is. Looks, uh, that looks really good. <laughs> wow. It looks just like you. Here, here, let me just see. Here. Here, there, there. No, that's awesome. It actually it's, looks. It's, like, that's yeah. what you need—a two-headed John Nodar. It actually looks better than you. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were a wonderful <laughs> muse. Oh, thanks, gosh. Oh, that is good. really sweet. All right, so the the, the scarecrow will be up at uh, Bellingrath. You can see right. John Scarecrow and uh, other exhibitions at the Scarecrows in the Gardens. It started yesterday. And it'll run, of course, to the end of the month uh, through Halloween. So it's a fun event at Bellingrath. You, you guys went out there. You, you took the scarecrow out there to Bellingrath. We did. We did. And uh, hopefully everybody who visits Bellingrath will recognize John. And, <laughs> and after about two weeks, it'll be all shriveled up and, <laughs> and look just like me. <laughs> it's plastic. All right. Tessa Scarborough, our guest, and uh, you, she is our graphic artist here at WKRG. And, of course, behind this portrait of John and the Scarecrow, Thank too. You, so, Tessa. Tessa, great job. Yeah. Now, now get back to work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got more coming up.